Hello and welcome to A Priori Story Timeless. We'll be reading today from Moon in the Well. Hey, buddy. Wisdom Tales to Transform Your Life, Family, and Community. This is by Erica Helm Mead. Hey, buddy. You want to join us here? Come on. Here it goes. Yeah, we were getting joined by Bob and a little tiger, and now we're joined by Saki. <coughs> Big tiger. You okay? So this is uh, a tale from the Mansi. Uh, in uh, <coughs> uh, Siberia. <coughs> and uh, it's called Why Hairs Have Long Ears. You want to settle in and hear the story, Zaki? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to turn it a little bit for everybody. Long ago, when the creatures of the forest first appeared, Great Elk was the most awesome of animals. With his tremendous size and striking antlers, he could be seen from far, far away. No other creature dared cross him. One day, Great Elk and his wife were out walking. Along the way, they passed the little hare quietly nibbling a bit of grass. The elks gave him no notice. Great Elk said to his wife, I have two old sets of antlers and I hate for them to go to waste. We should give them to someone. <clears throat> the she-elk replied, why don't we give one set to reindeer since he is our closest kin? Good idea, said Elk, but who should have the other? Before she-elk could reply, Little Hare overcame his shyness and spoke up. Please, Great Elk, give it to me. Great Elk was taken aback. You, he said, looking down at Hare. Little brother, what use could you possibly make of my antlers? Well, I would strut them about and be noticed, said Hare. All animals would be impressed and my enemies would flee in fright. Very well then, said Great Elk. They are yours. Little Hare was delighted. He fastened the antlers to his head and practiced strutting about. It went pretty well until a little cone dropped from a nearby cedar and bounced on Hare's head. Poor Hare was terrified. He scooted under the bushes to hide and his new antlers got entangled in the brush. Now Hare was stuck and unable to free himself. The Elks had a good chuckle. Then Great Elk said, little brother, this will never do. My antlers will only cause you trouble. You are timid by nature and we must accept that. From now on, you will have long ears to let the world know how alert and inquisitive you are. Ever since that day, Hare has been noticed for his long ears. <coughs> Did you like that one, Taki? Yeah. There's a little follow-up here. Um, it says, uh, young children delight in fables telling how animals got their special traits. We all know what it's like to wish we had the special traits we admire in others. It seems to be human nature to want what others have and to wish, as Hare wishes, for traits that draw for traits that draw recognition, awe, and respect. <clears throat> like Hare, a quiet artist named Moss found recognition is not all it's cracked up to be. Moss envied his friend Marcus, an extroverted artist who always made a stir and commanded people's attention. One day, Moss won a long desired award and a dinner was being given in his honor. This was my chance to soak up the kind of attention Marcus usually gets, he said. But afterward, I felt drained instead of pumped. It was nice to get all the kudos, but it takes a lot of energy to schmooze. And you'd be surprised how many people expect favors. 
the next day I unplugged my phone so I could so I could just hunker down in my studio. My wife says my work's about attunement and subtlety, not a big showy rack. Besides, he added with a grin, the hair means fertility, prosperity, and good luck. And he moves a lot faster than the elk. A woman named Jana took the ear, ears metaphor to heart. Painfully shy by nature, Jana made a concerted effort to meet new friends. She went, to she went to interesting community events and forced herself to mill about and converse with people. Her fantasy was that in order to meet people, she should approach them with big antlers confidence. I tried striding up to people with bold openers, but they came off as awkward and pre-rehearsed. This story helped Jana see her inquisitiveness as an asset. At the town meeting, I was all ears. I listened closely and asked a couple of good questions. Afterward, people approached me and thanked me for my questions. It was a better way to get noticed. Thank you.